Bonnie Moser, and I'd like to welcome you to another edition of Nights at the Round Table, brought to you by pwcnews.us. My guest tonight is Sheena Bird. Sheena, thanks Hi. for joining me. Thank you for having me, Tony. We're going to talk about Arts Alive, because yes. I'm excited. Oh, you and me both. Yeah. We're excited about it, yes. So let's start with something easy, like what's the date? Okay, that's the easy part. So yes, the date is going to be Saturday, May 3rd, um, 2014. It'll run from 10 o'clock in the morning all the way until about 8.30 um, in the evening. Yes, all day. Oh. And it'll be over at the Hillman Performing Arts Center. So I think the address is 10960 George Mason Circle in Manassas. That's longer than last year, right? Last yes. year it was just like five or... Last year we went from noon to about, I think we had a finale concert that started at eight. Oh. Um, uh-huh. So this year what we did was we started the actual festival part a little bit early. Um, and then we're going to have the finale concert an hour earlier. So it, that'll start at about 7. So I think that'll end at about 8.30. So you have, uh, I, if I recall, last year you used all the rooms in the Hilton Center. Do you have yes. access to all of them again? Yes, that's exactly right. So every nook and cranny of that building. So we'll, we'll be on all of the stages. So Merchant Hall stage, um, the Gregory Theater. Um, we'll use the gallery mm-hmm. as a stage space. So we'll have um, lectures and readings and... Um, uh, we'll have, I think, a mind troupe is going to be up there as well. Um, we'll have um, also workshops in the Lovey Hamill Lounge. Um, I'm expecting that we also are going to just totally use all of the grounds. So we'll have the showmobile outside, so that'll be another performance area, and we'll have an open air market. So what is the showmobile? Oh, that's a good, that's a good question. So the showmobile. Imagine a trailer with one side of it cut out. And you literally use it as a performance space. Does that belong to um, it's the parks, mm-hmm. parks uh-huh. and Rec. Parks yes. and Rec. Uh-huh. Because I've this is that. actually, the event itself, Arts Alive, is being um, hosted by the Prince William County Arts Council, which is a part of the Department of Parks and Rec. So the Arts Council works with the Hilton Performing Arts Center to bring this, um, this project together. So how many organizations do you anticipate participating? Oh. Um, let's see. We have, I believe... 30 different um, activities that are going to be happening throughout the day. So displays from our visual artists, our camera crew, our camera clubs, and also the, um, the uh, fine artists. Mm-hmm. Um, and we'll also have, of course, performances, dancers, singers, um, instrumentalists like me, um, orchestras, um, and also my quartet will play. Um, and then, of course, we'll have our writers. They're going to be um, leading some of the workshops, and we're also going to have a master class, and I'm very excited because we did not do this last year. Uh We'll have two of them. The first one is going to be um, a jazz singer master class. Our finale concert will feature this singer, and what she's going to do is take um, young singers, listen to them perform, and give them some constructive critique, and we as the audience get to sit and watch all of this. And so it becomes a learning opportunity for us and a performance opportunity for the new singer. And so we'll have our uh, soloist, Donna Brown, is the, the jazz singer who's going to be leading that. Uh-huh. Um, and then we have Quintango. They're going to lead the second master class. And it, as the name implies, five people, tango performance. And they're going to give us an intro to tango, how to listen to it, what to listen for. So it should be a good time. I imagine. Yes. I, now, is there a follow-on to that? To that wh- is there like a boost for the winner or no? There's no competition. It's not a competition at all. Okay. It is a purely educational opportunity for the people that are involved, especially for the tango part. There won't be any individuals. It'll just be um, Joan Singer, the leader of Quintango, mm-hmm. um, and the other members talking to us, the audience, and introducing us to it. Will you actually learn how to Quintango? <laughs> I don't know. I'd be afraid to. I know that Quintango has in the past incorporated dancers. I don't think we're going to do that this year. Maybe next year. We're going to focus on just the music itself. Yes. So you'll definitely gain an appreciation for listening to it. Uh-huh. That's that's our goal. Uh huh. Yeah. I am. Uh, I'm trying to think. What is the? Oh, it's flamenco that. Yes. I went to Barcelona uh-huh. and, yes. and got to see real flamenco dancers, and that was such a different experience yes. from what you anticipate. Yes, you don't have any flamenco dancers. No flamenco dancers. We have belly dancers, 
And so oh, really? we're going to have them, um, they're all, they'll be performing, I believe, on the showmobile and possibly in the gallery. So we'll have them um, performing themselves. And then maybe if we can encourage them to do something interactive, we thought that might be fun. Uh -huh. um, and so we actually are going to be doing some, um, some additional media in um, furtherance of this event. And the belly dancers are going to come with us. And they're going to, so we're going to be on television. We're going to talk about the Arts Council and the County and Arts Alive. And they're going to show us some moves. So I think I'm scheduled to be there. I cannot promise that I will be doing any dancing, but you know what, whatever it takes. Well, you got the earrings right. already, I'm ready so for you can it, go right. for it. Yeah. I even have the scarf. I have a scarf. I've got the earrings, and now I, I just need the courage. I think. Is that the buzz that's going to do the show for you, the Prince William County, the buzz? Oh no, this is actually. Um, we've been working. Um, we want to make sure that this um, endeavor grows, so we've been working with a PR firm, Asha Brew. Oh, I know Asha. Yeah, yeah. So she's great. She uh -huh. has opened so many doors for us. So we're actually going to be doing um, a piece on Fox 5 on Ooh. April 28th. Um, awesome. It'll be somewhere between 8 and 10 in the morning. I hope to know um, with more precision what the time is going to be soon. And then on May 2nd, I believe we're going to be on USA 9 um, at noon. Wow. So yeah, we'll have our cloggers there because, you know, in addition to orchestra and, you know, photography, we are Prince William County, so we have cloggers. <laughs> So, yeah, so that should be a good time. So 30 different groups, and, and they do they all have different skills? Are they yes. all different? Wow. Yes, we're talking, I mean, it's literally dancers and singers and writers and painters and photographers, the mime troupe that I mentioned. We're going to have some students um, from local schools will be there. Um, we absolutely are going to have a lot of stuff for kids. So, um, for example, the Pied Piper Theater, they're mm -hmm. out of the candy, uh, the, um, the, the, the candy factory. Right. Um, so they're going to be there um, performing and singing in, intermingling with the crowd. So they won't just be on stage. They're actually going to be interacting with kids and finding them and singing to them. Um, we have Edgemore Art Studios. They're going to be doing what they did last year, was have, just having tables and tables of children painting. It was my favorite thing to really? watch. These little ones just covered in paint, and the walls were covered, and the grass was covered, <laughs> so we're going to do that again. And then I believe Cabin Branch Quilters are going to be working with 4-H to do a make-and-take quilting project for the kids. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen Cabin Branch. I've seen their, dis their quilts on display, yes. and they're beautiful. Yes. But when I think of 4-H... I don't think of those kind of skills. I usually think of farm animals. Right, exactly. <laughs> Apparently they quilt. Yeah. And so we're going to go check that out. And hopefully when they say a make and take project for kid, that includes 37-year-old kids like Shana. So <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, sure maybe I'll take something myself. So do you have a big committee helping you with this? We do. We actually have a working group that is composed of members of the Arts Council's board of directors. And so I'm definitely grateful to them. And then the Hilton Performing Arts Center they could not be more generous with their time. We don't pay to use the space. They actually um, raise the money. They um, secure sponsors. And in this case, that's um, Novec and United Bank are the two big sponsors for them. Right. And so that takes care of the space and their staff, and then they bring in their volunteers. So that working group is made of our people and their people, and we come together to make this event happen. Free admission, free parking, because of the generosity of Hilton and the volunteers from the Arts Council. That's lovely. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to guess there's food available. So oh my gosh, yes. This. So what we're going to do, we want people to come at 10 and we want you to stay until the thing is over. You should be exhausted. And that requires food. So yes, we will absolutely have food trucks. Um, so if you're feeling a little irresponsible, um, <laughs> we're going to have confections. Um, their cupcakes are Oh, they are the best. She just uh, got ranked. She just heard. Yes, yes, yes. In the country. The country. Yes, yes. So we are thrilled to have them back. I know last year I left with a dozen. Um, I'm not going to tell you how far they made it before they were gone. I don't know, but so. you know, she's just located over in Galveston. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And on Sunday, they have happy hour from 5, from five to 6. six. One dollar. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> we both know it. Don't we? That's right. I followed her on fit on Facebook. Yep. So we yep. were so pleased when she agreed to come back. She was with us last year, and she's coming back this year. So, yeah, she'll be there. Um, and if you need something more substantial, we're, we're going to have um, Lorena's Deli. We'll be there. I understand that's Spanish food. Um, we'll have Red Hot and Blue, Nando Peri Peri, which is over oh, in yeah. Stonebridge, and they have a couple of other locations. They're going to be there um, with their offerings, so yeah, they have great. chicken. Yes, I believe amazing Big Joe's Pizza and Subs. We'll also have them. They were with us last year, so well, I might just come for the food. Just for the food, <laughs> yes. Just take your time. Every couple of hours, go back to a new truck, and so yes, yeah, so that'll be over in that open air market where we'll also have some craft vendors. 
so you will have items for sale. People yes. can take home souvenirs. Yes, from there. they can. They can, um, and in as part of the open air market, they can buy you know jewelry or paintings. Um, they can also buy um, offerings, the paintings, um, uh, photographs from our artists, and um, I believe the quilters may have a raffle or something for sale, and of course our writers. Um, uh, particularly uh, members of Right by the Rails will uh -huh. be there and uh, they'll be selling books too. Uh -huh. yeah. So that sounds so great, really. I mean, uh, that's an entire day. Yes. You start at 10 in the morning till when did you say 8? I, I think the last concert, the finale hours. concert at, at 7 should end by about 8.30. So yes, I will be good and tired. Are you going on vacation go. after that? No, I'm going to go back to work after that <laughs> because my life has been suspended to make I this bet. thing happen. Yeah. I bet. Yeah. Well, is there anything else you would like to tell us about Arts Alive? Um, I don't know. I, I think I just want to drive home the notion that this is going to be good for all ages. Um, the way the day is scheduled, um, the, the performances, for example, are in 30-minute chunks. So mm -hmm. it gives you an opportunity to experience for free in this great facility different types of things. So you can see you know, uh, scenes from a, an upcoming play. You can see a quartet play. You can see um, singers in nice little chunks to give you a sense of who these artists are. So it's just this great way to celebrate local arts, Prince William County people um, performing for other Prince William County and regional people. I think you should stick some shameless little plug in there for Old Bridge Chamber. We should! <laughs> Old Bridge Chamber Orchestra actually has got two offerings. We're going to have the orchestra play. Um, I think we're going to play Brandenburg too. I think. Um, as part of our thing. And then the quartet, my quartet, we're playing, I think, an Irish composer, um, Moran, um, his, one of his string quartets. So Old Bridge Chamber Orchestra, that's my, my shameless plug. But it's not really that shameless because it's your fault. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, um, good at, I'm good on cueing. Thank you. Okay. Well, I want to thank you very much for coming today. Thank it was you, a real Connie. pleasure. And uh, thank all of you for joining us. And we'll be back again next week with another edition of Nights at the Round Table. Mm -hmm.